Yeah, but this thing could also be something, right? It definitely Maybe. is something. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? I'm not sure. Welcome to Small Turns Big, where we make small things turn big. Today, we're looking at this old Olympus camera. It has 12 megapixels, actually. Today, we have a lot of new technologies that are much more better. So I thought, why not take it apart and look at it under the microscope? So let's get right to it and disassemble this. There we go. We got some more screws here on this side. We don't want to break it really too much, but uh, just take it apart mostly. And look at the, the PCBs and the connections inside, the LCD maybe. So yeah, so the back cover here. Uh, ooh, okay, that's a bit tricky here. Oh, that went fast. I think I maybe broke it. <gasps> okay, here you can see. Yeah, I just ripped it out. You can see how now, this uh, connection, these connections here, they're totally messed up. You can see how they broke off <laughs> very unevenly. Then uh, I destroyed it already. Let me sh see what's under here again. Okay, so there's a bunch of electronics. So here we can see a button. This was the display button. Okay, let's zoom into the display button here. Cool, yeah, okay, you can see the the connection pad here when you press the button it will uh, activate this connection and then uh, here in the background you see some soldering spots looks like an interesting chip i haven't seen this chip yet before looks like some bone wires yeah cool i haven't seen this style yet like really in the open okay so let's see what else we can find wait okay i just noticed something here this was where the lcd uh, screen was attached to I think I didn't break it actually connects like this let me zoom in here so you can see what it looks like a bit closer up yeah so here you can see the plastic part that's flipping up and in the background uh, the connection so yeah what else do we have here whoa okay it's getting interesting getting interesting let's open a bit more up here from the center I hope I'm not gonna damage too much I hope I'm not gonna damage too much. That's a lot of damage! Before I damage any more here, let's uh, zoom in here a bit more. Cool, okay, so I damaged a lot of the wires already here on the side. These, you can see here, maybe the, the imprints here, they went up here uh, into the main circuit here. And this is where the whole uh, processing is going on. Cool. So let's move in here a bit more into the brains of the camera. Wow, okay, so this is very very small structures in here i'm at the maximum range from this for this microscope now and you can see all these little structures in there that's in almost every chip like this if this got you interested in learning stem topics to make improvements in your life then i recommend you check out brilliant to improve your problem solving and critical thinking skills their lessons are interactive so that you apply what you've learned and understanding the why of it instead of just memorizing formulas to get by. To supercharge your learning, go to brilliant.org slash smallturnsbig and the first 200 signups get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Let's move on here. I think I need to attach, detach some more screws before we can keep on going. So there are a few here on top. Let's get them out of the way. Okay, this one is a uh, detach. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. Here, another small connection like the one before. So you can see uh, this connection is exactly the same like the LCD connection. You can just strip it out. Here you can see uh, the connector again. And if we, we can try to detach this one again, slowly, you can see ooh, how it came out. And now it's gone. And you can see this flipping thing here. That's how you attach it and, and uh, detach it. Okay, so this is now a major part of the camera here. I think it's a CMOS sensor. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's a CMOS sensor or a CCD. So let's, let's zoom here in the middle. Yeah, it's pitch black. I cannot see much, just some dirt. So this needs to be super clean when they uh, manufacture the product or any camera because uh, otherwise you will see it on, the, on every picture in the, in the future. And here you can see all the wires connecting to the sensor these are not very small wires because i'm here this is not a very big magnification on this microscope because we're doing now 220 magnification uh with a light microscope you could go up to 2000 magnification then you can see really small 
subject. And you can see also really high-tech bond wire bonds. And this is quite a big one, so nothing very impressive or high high techy. This part here, this uh, is glue from uh, where the sensor is attached to the casing. It's cool. So that wasn't a very perfect glue job here. There. So let's put this one aside. We got some mechanics. We got maybe a small lens in here. Oh, okay. This is now falling apart here. So you can see here this motor here on the side that is activated uh, by some buttons. I guess when you open the uh, start the camera, the lens comes out in the front. So this part turns and then uh, here's some, uh, some gears attached to each other, another gear, and then the, this activates the motion that the lens is driven out in the front. So the lens is here in the middle. This is probably super transparent. <laughs> and super clean should be otherwise yeah, you have shadows in your image yeah cool that's the lens up there at 220 magnification not very interesting because it's trans transparent uh, behind this i don't think there will be much Whoop, there we go one gear fell down <laughs> let's break it okay Oopa. Oopa. Oop. Everything's falling apart. Hoop, okay. This is uh, the yeah the lens here that's that comes out. And then we have this part here. Just also has some lenses in it, some electronics, a coil. There's a little coil here that's uh, probably also a motor attached to a motor somewhere. So here on the back side we got basically more of the same from the front. So not much much more else going on. This big uh this big port here, connection port, this is the attachment for the battery. The last thing that we can look at is basically the LCD screen here. Okay, this is super interesting now. It's like the Netflix. Cool, look at the pixels. They just shifted a bit. They're not in a perfect straight line, they shifted a bit. Do you see that? There's a liquid over the pixels. This, it's just backing up there a bit because I broke it. The press now down. Oh, it's going, it's going away. Wait, now it's coming back. But why does, why is there a liquid? So the whole screen, if I zoom out a bit, you can see the pixels, where everything's a little bit more blue. It's like, it gives a flash when I push down. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the tech behind the, the LCD that makes it flash blue and uh, or the black liquid. I'm not sure what, what, it's, what this is caused by. That's kind of cool to see. I, was, I just thought the pixels would break and then the screen is broken. So what happens if I break it totally? I hope it will not be a big mess. Oh wow, okay. Nothing is dropping out or dripping out. There's like a plastic cover over the LCD screen. <laughs> Things are dropping out, but I think it's not liquid, it's uh, glass. There's three substances. The particles that dropped out, the back cover that was attached to this uh, screen here, and then the, the screen itself. So let's see what's what. So this is now the yeah, particles that fell out. It looks like it's like a casing of the pixels, individual pixels. There's no colors anymore. There's just yeah, these little boxes where the pixels were inside. That's cool. So the pixels probably nest inside these glass covers. So now we're on the back side that's attached to this uh, metal plate. And you can see here, this is also empty squares. Uh, and if we go move over here to the section where it's broken a bit more. So you can see here now where it broke off. It's probably glass. I feel like it's glass, but it's very smooth. I'm not 100% sure, but it's something that keeps the pixels inside. So the only thing that is left that we can observe is now the front side of the LCD and I assume that now we should see the colored pixels which are inside of the these forms. Oh, wow! <laughs> so you can see these pixels are very bright illuminated. So this works without any power source. Each individual pixel is lit up with the energy so this one shines in through your screen and then this is a combination of uh, green, blue and red is is activated and then you see a certain color there. and you can see here this red uh, pixel up here and this green pixel down here is uh, a bit damaged cool 
That was super interesting. I didn't know that we would see all that in detail. I hope you also enjoyed the disassembly of this Olympus camera. It was something unique we did on this channel. So if you want to see me disassemble something else, leave a comment down below what you want to see next under the microscope. And don't forget to subscribe and then we'll see you in the next video.